You mentioned stem cells, and, and one of the things I saw on your site was amniotic stem cell therapy. Can you explain uh, what that's used for? And the amniotic is, is something I've, I've never heard before. Where do you harvest those stem cells from? So uh, the amniotic stem cells, well, we use uh, amnion is just a general term for the perinatal tissue. Okay. And so in the perinatal tissue, what we use is the placenta. So there's the inner part of the placenta and the umbilical cord from healthy mothers who are undergoing a, a C-section birth. Mm -hmm. So we use the lab, uh, Utah Cord Bank, and they have a system where we actually have, you know, parts of the uh, placenta have different types of stem cells because the placenta essentially is a stem cell factory. That's what grows and then the baby comes after. And so the placenta is just discarded in the hospitals every day. Mm -hmm. The umbilical cord in the Wharton's jelly, there is what's called MSCs or mesenchymal stem cells or what Arnold Kaplan now calls them are medicinal, uh, medicinal signaling cells. Those are found in the Wharton's jelly. And then in the blood, all the red blood cells are removed, but in some of the serum of that, that umbilical cord are hemopoietic stem cells. And so those are stem cells that can uh, change and remodulate your immune system. So with uh, using that perinatal tissue, that's how we can regenerate a lot of uh, cartilage in the body. We help restructure the nerves. Um, we see phenomenal outcomes in patients who have conditions that, you know, we're, we're treating addiction, uh, brain recovery. We do it intranasally and we're, we're seeing just people who had no hope now actually are getting some regeneration. Their brain's turning on again. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I'm sure is being talked about at the conference here and, um, is stem cell therapy and its ability to maybe uh, r take the place of joint replacement, which a lot of people seem to go through. We're talking knees and, and hips and things like that, um, and other even other surgeries. Is that really one of the, the leading benefits, do you think, of that? And, and can yeah. people who have that those conditions kind of rebound from that and not have the surgeries? You know, um, there are certain people who are just too far gone, but but there's so many cases where they say, well, look, I don't want surgery, and so we say, okay, well, we'll treat it, and let's see how we do. And I am shocked every day at the amount of patients who don't need surgery. Mm -hmm. And their orthopedist told them there's no way stem cells are going to help. Their primary care doctor told them that. They come to us and we're willing to give it a shot. And of course, there's a lot more that goes along with stem cells. We can't just inject someone's knee and expect them to get healthy, but that's where we do acupuncture. We train them on, we run the right tests, we get their whole body healthy, and then that's what's feeding those stem cells. So it's, it's one of the most, um, the biggest breakthrough that I've seen in healthcare right now are stem, is stem cell therapy. Mm -hmm. And the reason we don't harvest it from someone's bone marrow or their adipose tissue is because just the health of those stem cells is always, uh, you know, it's questionable. Mm -hmm. So that's where we use a source uh, from the umbilical cord, the placenta, and it gives us a little more reproducible results. When you talk about stem cells, I hear a lot of other things like prolotherapy and PRP. Are we talking about the same thing or are there slight differences between those therapies? So prolotherapy is where you use like a sugar substance, like a dextrose, and you'll inject in multiple areas around the injury. Um, that's a great modality. That would be kind of like the foundational. And the next level up would be PRP. So we'd take your blood, we'd spin out your blood, and then PRP is a platelet-rich plasma. So we take those rich platelets and, and we'd reinfuse it or inject it you know, into the area that had been damaged. So that's the next level up. Stem cells is where you actually harvest into the bone marrow, the adipose tissue. There will be stem cells in the PRP, very, very few, but it will cause the migration of your body's own stem cells. So that's where some people think, oh, this is stem cell therapy. Prolotherapy might causes the migration of some of your own stem cells. Acupuncture causes the migration of your own stem cells. But when you really concentrate stem cells and when you, when you hear the term stem cell therapy, that's where we're using stem cells from your bone marrow, your adipose tissue, or at, at the case of my clinic, we always use Utah Cord Bank. We use uh, Stem Beeb and uh, we, we get it from the umbilical cord or, or the placenta and that's what we're injecting.